Hello everyone, Melanie here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, happy Monday to everybody that is on their Monday. Happy Sunday evening where you are going to be waking up tomorrow to your Monday start of the week, start of a new month as well, which is all really pretty exciting. And I wanted to talk to you all today about co um, competence. Um, then creates confidence. So I have spoken a lot before around having that clarity then helps with the confidence that you have when you are speaking and delivering what you have for people. And really it comes down to having the competence and the skills to be able to then communicate your message, your story, your information, your content, then really creates that confidence because I want you to think of an area of your life where you are so confident that you can communicate um, so effortlessly, you are so confident in that area. But then I want you to think about another area of your life where you maybe aren't as confident in speaking and delivering to people, then having a look at are you fully competent in that area to, to be able to communicate that because really that's what it comes down to. And I'm speaking to a client on Saturday around this is that it's okay if we're not confident in all areas of our life. It gives us an opportunity to look at, well, what can I do to upskill myself? What could I do to learn more information around that? Or what could I do to upskill myself and how I'm going to engage and deliver that? Because you could be really confident in the information that you have. However, the competence around your skill of delivering it could be a lot less than what the information and the knowledge that you have. So an example of that that I, I gave to my client on Saturday is that I am very confident when it comes to delivering this type of information, going on camera, going on live, standing in front of people. I'm really competent in that area, which then gives me the confidence. But am I confident about communication in all areas of my life? No. So that's the thing of like people would maybe kind of look at me and go, well, how could you not be confident in all areas of your life around communication because of what you teach? But it's very different because I'm not necessarily skilled in certain areas and other parts of my life because of things around emotional triggers, certain people, certain things could potentially be happening. So, but then it gives me an opportunity to empower myself to go, well, what can I do to change that? What can I do to upskill myself to be able to communicate that? Because communication is hard work. It is work in any area of your life and in particularly the way in which we communicate to our audiences, to the people that we work with, it takes work. And a lot of the times it means that we have to change certain things in our life to do that. It means that we have to put ourselves out there. It means that we have to go beyond that fear and be able to do that, to become more competent and to become more confident to do that. And another point that I wanted to talk about in this is that um, something else that I spoke to my client on, on Saturday was around combining that logic and emotion together because it is okay to feel the fear. It is okay to feel anxiety. It's okay to feel maybe a little bit like imposter or confused or overwhelmed. However, when we combine the fact that yes, you might be feeling all of those things, but the logic behind it is that, well, I'm here to, sh to share this message with people. And again, the logical part in your brain is that it's okay to feel those feelings. So I really want to emphasize that, that it is okay to feel like that. And at times I can definitely feel certain aspects of that, not as much as it used to be. But again, I come back to the logical part of my brain and go, well, I'm here to do something. I'm here to give a message. I'm here to help people. So I really want you to think about 
um, the areas in which you are really confident in your life and look at how competent you are in those areas. And then have a look at some areas that you're not as confident and especially around speaking and think, well, what do I need to do to become more competent, which is going to give me more confidence in that area? Because really when it comes to, to making that change and putting ourselves out there, it's then thinking of not to be frozen in those emotions, to be able to work through it, because then what we do is that we then go into a lot of the, the victim mode around feeling like, oh, I really want to communicate, I really want to get in camera, I really want to do these things, but there's something around those emotions that are holding you back. Um, and then really coming into that and getting that logic out of it to be able to do that. So another example as well is like when we're when we are looking at um, putting ourselves out there and speaking, it really does come down to the competence. It comes down to the structure of having a structure around how you're going to deliver that and communicate that. And then it's around practicing and rehearsing. So those are the key things that are going to give you confidence, which is then going to give you results. And it's going to give you capital results in that. So again, building competence, building structure, rehearsing. And time and time again that I hear this from my clients is around that we really work on all of those. So I give them the skills, I give them the structure, but then they have to go away and rehearse that. They have to put that into practice in their own lives and their own situations that they're doing for that to be able to have the results. And they do get the results. They really do come back to me and say, I'm so glad that I now have that planning, the preparation, the structure, because it's now given me so much more confidence to be able to do that. So again, that's effort. It is hard work. It is making time to do that. However, communication is such a massive part of our lives. Like we cannot delegate communication. We have to be able to do that for ourselves in all areas of our life and be able to do that, which is then going to give us so much more results in our life. Hey, everybody watching. Hey, Reg. Hey, Patty. Um, so it's it's something that I, 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 I live by. It's something that I'm consistently learning and I'm reading and I'm studying. And it is like there's times in my life where I can definitely avoid uh, certain parts of communication because I'm like, it's too hard. It really feels really horrible and I want to procrastinate on it and it really is mirroring back to me something that I really need to work on and and I really do sit down and I go well what can I learn from this what can I do to upskill myself to be able to do that more effectively because I want to be an effective communicator in all areas of my life and not just one um, because really then that's not a fulfilling life when we only are able to do that in one area um, to do that so um, I really want you to think of what areas that you're confident in what ones you're not I'm just looking at my notes that I have here of things that I was writing over the weekend as I was learning some of these things and, and sharing these with my my clients and then what I want you to think is that, um, you know, how would that look like to have more of that confidence in those areas? Like what kind of results would you get from that? And I'm in a, in a 90 day group program that I'm in to take my business and myself to the next level. And it's really gives me such an insight into how my clients feel because I'm now faced with really having to dig deep to really look at certain aspects of my business and the things that I do. And I'm having to change that because of where I want to go. And there's times where I have, um, I think I've been in it four weeks and I really felt overwhelmed, confused, really just in that moment of like, oh my God, like what am I doing? But I know that this is going to help me to be able to communicate on a completely different level about what I do. And some of the things that have come out of it is um, 
really around that economic empowerment. So some of the realizations that I've had around what I have been doing to help people and my clients in business and in the workplace and organizations, especially particular managers and leaders, is really around that economic empowerment because the more you can communicate and have that competence and confidence, you then have economic empowerment because you can take your business to the next level, you can then take your organization to the next level and you can help your teams go to the next level when you're able to do that. And what I absolutely love is that heart driven purpose around what I teach, but also around what other people teach to other people um, because of building that competence. And we can really come from that heart driven space to again, being able to help um, economic empowerment and particularly um, this year of the economics that people have had. And um, I know that Reg that's on here, I love what you do around that economic empowerment around financial literacy and particularly around women and it is like we're now in such a place to really build that economic empowerment for yourself but being able to build that for other people and doing that in such a heart driven space to be able to do that so this is my Monday morning um, little um, rant coming on here to, to do this but it's something that I am so so passionate about in communication really passionate about and it's an everyday skill building process um, again I'm no different to anybody else I am consistently learning upskilling myself looking at different ways in which I can learn um, to be able to help more people do the same so you let me know in the comments even if you're watching live or replay um, what some areas that you feel you would like to um hey nicole um what you where what areas that you would like to become more confident in um and what some things that you maybe need to be able to to learn in order to become more competent to become more confident in that area um and again letting me know in the comments even if it's hashtag replay um, i can send some information to people point you in the right direction give you some suggestions or jump on a, a call with you and, and take you through some of those processes as well um, Reg, love it. Empowerment in any aspect of your life is so important. Absolutely. It's like if we're not learning, we're not growing, we're not empowering ourselves and we're not empowering other people to do the same. Like there's situations where I can find myself and I go, oh, like I feel really helpless in that situation. And then I really have to just dig deep and go, well, what can I learn and what can I change in order for my outside situations in my life? to be able to change because I've changed inside. So absolutely learn, learn, learn. And um, whether you do that on your own or you ask someone else for help, again, there's plenty of people in this group um, that have so, so much um, skills and competence and confidence to share in different areas of their life that can help you in yours. So again, share in the group if there is areas that you're not as confident in because there is a wealth of people in here that um, can add so much value and share so much um, a knowledge to be able to help you in that. Um, stay Steve, competence creates confidence, is action creates competence. Um, absolutely, I love that Steve, thanks for sharing that, absolutely. So having the competence creates the confidence, but you have to take the action in order to do that, absolutely. So thank you so much guys for, um, for sharing that this morning. So go out there, empower yourself, take the action, create the confidence, and then you can really add that economic empowerment to um, other people in your life lives and the people that you help every single day as well so go out there happy monday happy sunday night for some of you that are in the uk watching um have an amazing week i will be back on here again later on um, in the week and we can chat a little bit more um, and share some of your own experiences around what action that you're taking to be able to help in that um direction as well um this year i've invested the most i've ever invested in myself and my business and it has absolutely propelled my confidence and my competence to be able to help all of you guys as well so um, really take that time to do that so have an amazing day everybody and we will chat again soon